Hello and welcome to Artful. Today we're having another look at our gouache paints, showing you how to create a portrait. To begin with, Alice is sketching out her character. We're focusing on the wavy hair, the beanie hat and the dungarees. If you're struggling to draw people, I've left a link in the description to our soft pastel portraiture video to give you some tips and tricks. The main things you need to remember are that the bottom of the nose lines up to the bottom of your ears and at the corner of your mouth line up to the center of your eyes. These facial structure rules are essential, even for more stylized creations such as this. Using a large, wide, flat paintbrush, Alice has mixed together a light ultramarine to apply a wash to the background of the portrait. To make a wash, just add plenty of water with your paint. This nice blue in the background will help the colours of the character really pop. For more information about creating a colour palette for your painting, check out our Gouache Paints Top Tips videos where we cover it more in detail. Using a smaller paintbrush, Alice is able to block in more colour, such as this lovely rich red for our character's dungarees, which we mixed using pink and orange. And mixing together a nice light brown, we can begin to paint the base level skin tone of our characters. One of the best things about gouache is how smoothly it can be applied, whilst keeping its consistent colour. We're using a darker brown for our character's wavy hair. And a nice rich ochre for a little beanie hat. Mixing together yellow paint with a little bit of white. We're keeping our character shirt white, but that doesn't mean we don't paint these sections in, or did it were so simple. Instead, we're painting a base level white for the character's shirt, which we'll go over later with a lighter grey for the shadow. Using a selection of dark brown and a smaller brush, Alice can start to paint in the character's eyebrows. You can use a darker version of that initial skin tone to paint in shadows and facial features, like the nose, outlines of the eyes and bottom of the lip. Cleaning the brown paint off your brush, you can use the smaller brush again to paint in the white of the eyes. And whilst we wait for that white paint to dry, you can instead work on shadows to the rest of the shapes. A deeper red for the dungarees, and a light grey for the shirt. With a nice pink, we can fill in the rest of the character's lips, and using a darker brown tone, we can fill in the rest of the details of the face, such as the pupils and eyeliner. Gouache is so fast drying, consistent and opaque, Alice is able to paint over sections of the paintings she's maybe not too happy with, hence why her character is currently without her nose. Whilst that paint dries, we can add lighter browns to our base level of wavy hair, just to give it that richness and fullness of colour. We can use a small paintbrush and the same light brown to repaint the character's nose, her mouth and some extra curls before using a paler colour for the highlights. As a final detail, Alice is keen to add more colour to our character's curly hair and some shadow and highlights to her beanie hat and the gold buttons of her dungarees. Slowly start to peel away the washi tape that frames the painting. This will give the work a much more slick, professional feel to it. And that's our gouache portrait pretty much complete. Alice spent around an hour and a half in total creating this painting and it was created using paints all found in the Artful Gouache box. Make sure you tag us in your own gouache paintings using our hashtag ArtfulDailyChallenge on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more like it or visit artful.co.uk. Cheers again for watching and we'll see you again soon with a new video.